Hey everybody, Stone Dart Studios here. Just drinking some coffee, having a little bit of a smoke. I got one glove on. I'm getting there. I'm gonna do a tornado pour today. I had this pour from the other day, and it was just horrible. It was the worst pour I've ever done. So I blacked it out with black paint, reusing the canvas, not wasting any money. The only money I really wasted was just a few couple dollars and a, and a little bit of paint that the orange and the blue didn't work out. So I did do an orange and blue that worked for the client that they really, really loved. I posted that yesterday. Um, so what I want to do is a tornado pour, which I saw... Mixed media girl doing it. And then uh, last night on the live pour, I saw Christina Welch doing it. But she did it a little different technique than mixed media girl. So I'm going to do mixed media girl's technique and pray that it works. I really like Christina's technique also, so I'm eventually going to try that as well. Um, I haven't mixed my paints yet, so I wanted to show y'all, uh, I'm going to do the mixed paint mix today. I'm going to do layers with um, some metallics. This is a two cup container marked off by quarter cup increments. I'm going to start with white. Let me get all my lids off. I've already shaken everything up. Let me get my lids off. Okay. I'm going to start with white, and I have lined this container with uh, WD-40 to get most of the paint out and for easy cleaning. So I'm doing white, I'm doing nutmeg. And then in the middle of the nutmeg and the yellow, I'm going to do, uh, this is pure gold. Of course, it's mixed with Floetrol and my mix, my, uh, my flow mix, which I use um, flow, Floetrol uh, glue, Elmer's glue, and water. And it works for me. Um, I'm actually going to do two layers of the, the lighter mixture first because I want that to come back out last and go up to do the tornado effect. So I'm going to do another white and then more nutmeg and I'm layering it. I'm just not dumping it in. I'm layering it in so it comes out in a certain order. And the gold between the nutmeg and the yellow. And then yellow. And then I'm going to follow up with, I'm, I'm going to do um, some the same color metallics as the paints. So this is true navy. And I'm mixing it with uh, sapphire. So I'm putting the sapphire. And this has already got flow in it. This this was half used, so I filled it up halfway and with flow with my flow mix. And this is already ready to go. So I'm gonna put a little bit of blue glitter, glitter, and then I'm gonna put the true navy on top of that. because I want this dark to come out first. And then the purple iris, I'm mixing with the amethyst. This already has flow in it also. Again, it was a half used container of paint and I just added a half bottle of flow. Then the purple iris on top of that, it's gonna be a crazy looking storm. 
And then with the Caribbean blue, I'm mixing the ice blue. And this also was already a half used and I added Floetrol to the bottle. So the ice blue and then the Caribbean blue over the ice blue. And then I'm going to go back to the uh, sapphire. Because again, I want these darker colors to come out first on my black canvas. And then I want the lighter colors to come out on top of the colors. And they're going to go up the middle. It's going to be really, really cool. But storms have all kinds of colors. They have greens and they have purples and they have blues and yellows and tans and whites and all kinds of crazy colors. A storm could be any color. <clears throat> More ice blue. And then Caribbean blue. And then we're going back to the sapphire. And the true navy. And the amethyst. And some people buy these lovely, beautiful colors offline, and I just can't afford those yet. So I'm just having to make do with what I got, basic colors I get at Walmart, and the purple iris. And then sometimes I mix colors and make my own colors. So I just do what I can. And it does help when somebody has a specific color scheme in mind. It does help with the creation process. And I just dump my arm in that black. Lovely. Uh oh. I got a clog. Lay that, sit that down for a sec. And I got to unscrew this. And I don't like when that happens toothpick it's just some gunk from the flow trawl that I didn't um, filter out before I mixed my flow so next time lesson learned okay mess this up but you know what oh well it'll be what it is in it huh it will be what it will be and I love this little container I got it's got a handle on it so it's easy Easy holding and easy pouring, so. <clears throat> Just trying to make sure I have enough paint in here for this 10 by 20 canvas. Okay, I'm going to switch it back to just the normal colors now. And I'm going to be done with the metallics. They're all in the middle there. So I'm going to need a lot of paint for this. 
because I want a specific design and to ensure that design I'm gonna need a little extra paint so I don't have to move the paint that much black on top okay that'll just blend into the back okay I'm gonna try to do this left-handed now I need to turn this around so I can do it right-handed so okay this is gonna be crazy people okay I'm going to do a swirl effect all the way down. And I don't think this is going to work out the way I'm expecting it's going to work out because these colors settled when I had to stick that down. And It's not going to work out the way I expected, so I'm just going to play with it now. So this tornado pour didn't work out. But I'm hoping that this will yield something. Okay, here we go. Hold on, let me get these closed and out of the way before I pour up all kinds of crazy colors in these things. That would not be good. So, here we go. Get everything put away. Get everything put away. Let that set for a second. I think this is actually going to be pretty cool. Put all my paints away. Be a tidy little painter. Always try to be tidy. Okay, here we go. I'm going to torch this first. And see what I can get. There's some bubbles popping and some cells coming up. Finally got my torch. My next item to save for is an air gun okay so let's see what Mel can do with this it's on a black background so copy hands we need we do need to get those shirts Christina copy hands use your copy hands Use your copy hands. That's just hilarious when I heard you and Alan say that last night on live. Use your copy hands. Okay. Copy hands, copy hands. Down this way. I'm trying to use my cup of hands. Get this last bit here done and rolled over the side. And let's take it back down a little bit. And yeah, of course, per usual, 
I didn't get what I expected. <laughs> I never do. Uh, except when I did that that commission the other day. I actually got what I wanted when I did that. Um, so I'm taking my gloves off. I'm done handling it. Now I just need to blow it a little bit with my torch. Okay. See what other cells we get come up. And even when I get cells pop um, in a pour, as it sets and settles, more cells usually form. And it rarely dries the way it looks when it's wet. It rarely dries the way it looks. So you have to be prepared to have it change just a little. Not always a lot, just a little. Alright, now, since I don't have a blowgun, I'm going to have to use my straw to try to soften up some stuff. I don't know if I want to, I don't know. Huh. I know you can't see all the, the metallics that are going through this, but it's really pretty. dry it real quick. Move some stuff around. Oh no, I did not just do that. How did I just do that? Oh. No. Really? Nothing like messing up on camera. But you know what? That made a pretty little design there. I don't have a problem with that at all. Yeah, I need to get a little closer to this. Because the closer I get, the better of effect I get. Especially with these metallics. Oh, yeah. This is coming out beautifully. I'm getting some beautiful lacing and more cells. I love that I got this gun. It makes the process so much easier and so much quicker. And you can pinpoint areas that you want to work on and leave others alone. Or, you know, do the whole thing. I'm just trying to bring some of this other stuff out from underneath. Sometimes you use a torch more on some pieces, and sometimes you use less. It just depends on the piece and what you're trying to achieve. So, yeah, I'm just loving this. I love creating like this. Who would ever thought I'd be an artist, huh? Back at Montverde. <laughs> All I knew how to do was get in trouble and stay on the BG board and stay in the kitchen working all the time because I always had hours. I was always on the board for something. If I wasn't on the board on a weekend, that was rare. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This really is going to be gorgeous. Do the sides. Uh oh, not want to burn it.
Well, this came out prettier than I thought it would. A lot prettier. It's a complete abstract. <clears throat> but, uh, it works. I'm going to take the phone off so you can get a close-up of it. I'm not sure if you can actually see the detail of the cells in this, but it will be beautiful. I don't even think the photo will do it justice. I really don't. Even after I clear it up and sharpen it and everything, I, I don't think the photo is going to do this justice. So, there it is. The final. I know, sorry about that light. It's the only light I have. And I'm trying to get you focused here. And not focused, but... Oh, I'm so horrible at this. So there's the painting. Let me move that away. I don't know if y'all can see it better or worse without the light on it. There's a little bit more light. But now i got to let this dry. It takes... Two weeks for a painting to cure, and then I can seal it. So this is going on the drying rack, and will be sealed later at a later date. I hope everybody has a beautiful Tuesday. Bye.